there how you doing i hope that you have a great day today and this video it will be using the new magnified smoke edition from Remo. um i really don't know what to do actually let's try like it's a smoke edition let's try smoky eye but you know what i will be using only the shades that come in here so i don't know what i'm going to to achieve so let's hope for the best so i need to just put some um eye primer or concealer like i, I use and i won't do my makeup first because of the fallout uh, so well, no further ado, let's get it started. Well, I think that I will just go, this is a transition shade, these are matte. These are another matte, this is another matte, and this is another, this is another matte. Matte, 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 this one, purple, and the black are matte. The rest, these are like metallic, and these are glittery. So what I'm going to do is this in the crease, I will darken the li a little bit the crease and I think that I will just go with this one in the very last part of the of the eye and I will use one of these I don't know I think this one in the inner third or in the in the two thirds of the eye I am turned to this too because this one looks like a little bit more grayish. So let me just decide this at the end which one I will do first. If I like it, the next video I will film it will be with this one. So yes, I will just go with them. I'm sorry that you see my 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 right there. I will cover this top of the axis and the eyes. I already primed my eye like I said. This is very grey. So it will be like slightly. I am not trying to use another shade that is not in this eyeshadow palette. So yeah I want to achieve that smoky very intense and smoky eye. Let's go with very dark, dark, dark one. This one in the crease. I will just go and grab the other one and deepen the crease a little bit more. And the black. Now I'll just put that other shade just in the inner corner. In the inner corner, in the crease. Just to dark, darken this slightly, slightly bit. Well, I will just grab the other brush and I will blend here. Now I, it looks like I have something in there, mm -hmm. I have some problems. So I will try to get, this eye was a little bit weird. I don't know, I don't know if you can see that. Well, I will try to try to get like this in this eye and get the black one i will try to get what i just done i just dust a little bit more of that first gray shade i don't know why this eye is getting way better than the other side i don't know it's like this creepy that first shade that is very gray and there is a darker just a slightly darker gray i just already had it on the brush so yeah and this eye is like weird so i will try to 
get it better on camera so you can see that I am trying my best to make it like look even so I think to get very dark payoff but so far the colors are very very dark uh, they're gray of course <laughs> so well I just will grab the black and will pack it on the lid I will try this side first and then I will go and repeat this on camera it doesn't go around but I will just grab and pack that black I will grab a little bit more want it black want it very very black stick aside so now I will decide if I just go with that gray shade right there or I will go with another shade so let me just uh, fill it out I decided to go with this shade right here I have something on my finger. I will go with this shade. I I put it dry, but it's kind of not picking up the right uh, amount of shine that I want to. So I will wet the brush, but it's, it's strong. I will show you. This is dry. And what I did was putting it a little bit like this. And you have a shine. But I want more impact so I will wet the brush and I will go back with that as you can see this is the same I will go back with that um, shade to intensify that uh, metallic look that I want to and see the difference between this one and this one with wet that is it's okay but this one is kind of emphasizing that metallic foiled look that I want to so as you can see with wet it gets what I really wanted so these looks are the looks that you will go for if you are going out so what I'm going to do right now is because I want that black even more more black I will pat it a little bit more I just pat it off camera but I'm telling you that I did like this but now I will flip the brush it's the same that I used the shimmer here and the black is here and I will just blend those two together right there And I'm doing the same on the other eye. But the black. And then. So this is the final step of the eye. So this. I'm sorry. <laughs> this is the last part of the look. I will finish my face. And. Well, this is the final look. I just added this Revlon black eyeliner, waterline, the Butterfly Intensa mascara on the lips. I just full, just not only line my lips, just go all over the lips with this Saturate Addition. Addiction, sorry, Addiction um, lip liner 
and these private viewing from Brevlum. So, and the highlighter, I used the first shade in the highlighter palette. And um, so this is kind of, and I haven't set the foundation, I just put some pink blush. Um, you don't, you, you're gonna find it in, in United States or in any other country. So it's kind of not, um, you won't, you won't find it. Just put any kind of pink blush on the tip. Even though it just, it just, it's very sheer. Um, so, well, this is the final look. So comment down below if you like it. This is the first I look from this smug eyeshadow palette from the series. So I hope you enjoyed it. Thumbs up if you did. Don't forget to subscribe. Share it if you like it. And this is, I will use this again for the night, for sure. So <laughs> thank you for, every, for everything. And I will see you in my next video.